Today, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Teams. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you have a Workplace account and you're using the desktop app. However, if you do not have a paid enterprise account, you can download the free version of Microsoft Teams where most of the features we are talking about today will still be available to you. I've included a link in this video description. Microsoft Teams is a collaboration platform that allows you to chat, have online meetings, share documents and host online events. When you sign in, your screen will look like this. You'll see your main menu on the left and your profile settings on the top right. Let's start by chatting about Teams and channels. A team is a collection of people, conversations, files and tools all in one place. It's like a group chat with lots of functionality. A channel is a discussion within a team dedicated to a department, project or topic. Channels can be public, meaning everyone in the team can see the discussion, or they can be private and only seen by those added. For example, your company may have a team for the executives, a team for the HR department, a team for marketing, and many, many more. In any given team, you will always have a general channel. This is a default public channel with all teams. But you may also create a social media channel where you discuss upcoming social posts. You may have a separate channel for PR and another for budget discussions. Perhaps the budget channel is one you would like to restrict. So you make it private and add only the team members involved in budget discussions. To join or create a team, click on the Teams menu and down here you'll see Join or Create a Team. If you don't have this or this option doesn't work for you, it's because your administrators, generally your IT department, have restricted your access to some features. If you have been given a code to join a team, you can enter that here. If you would like to create a team, you can click here. You can select from any number of different templates to get you started but I'm going to set up a new team from scratch and I'm going to make the team private. Give the team a name and if you would like to, you may also provide a description. I'm going to add two of my colleagues to begin. When you create a team, you will always have a general channel. I'm also going to create a channel specifically for YouTube, which I'll make public and therefore accessible to all team members. I'm also going to create a channel for budget discussions and I'm going to make this one private, only adding relevant team members. Now let's take a moment to look at a standalone chat. I'm going to start a conversation with Jeremy. To do that, I'm going to click here. You can see that I have plenty of formatting options and I can also at message Jeremy. This is most useful in a group chat or in a channel situation where you're wanting to make it clear who your message is directed at. You will also have the ability to send GIFs, emojis, attachments and stickers. Here you have the ability to mark a message as important or urgent. If you select urgent, the recipient will receive regular notifications about your message. You can edit the last message you sent by pressing shift and the up arrow. You can also take advantage of a wide variety of applications. I regularly use Excel in Teams and I also have another video on my channel that demonstrates how to use the whiteboard application Freehand by Envision. In addition to one-to-one -one chats, you can also create group chats. Click here to add additional participants to the chat. Now, moving on to meetings. You can have impromptu meetings or scheduled meetings. To make a voice or video call to one of your contacts, 
Simply search for your contact and press the video icon for a video call or the phone icon for a voice call. As for meetings, there are multiple ways to schedule a meeting. I'm going to show you three. The final way is my preferred method. You can click on meetings in your left hand menu and you can click meet now to start an impromptu meeting. You will get a link to give to anyone you would like to attend. You can also click schedule a meeting. This will also result in a link you can give to invitees. And finally, my preferred method, which is from my Outlook calendar. Simply create a meeting in Outlook and use the Teams meeting add-in, which will automatically give your meeting a Teams link. If you've been invited to a meeting, you can use the link in your Outlook calendar or you can find the link in your Teams calendar via the menu on the left. In your Teams menu, you'll also see files, which is where, just as we would expect, you can find files shared in Teams and OneDrive. If you would like a bunch of Microsoft Teams tips and tricks, you can find them all in this video here. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I also absolutely love to hear from you, so please do leave a comment and let me know if you have any requests for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.